Good morning. I don't actually think it is the morning, but I've just kind of had my breakfast, so we're gonna stay. So we're gonna say it's the morning, just because if not, I just feel a bit weird about life. So, good morning. <laughs> It's literally constantly the noise I hear every day at the moment because they're building on the back field and it kind of feels like I'm in an earthquake sometimes because the lorries are so heavy that they're like just shake the ground and I'm like what the heck and then I just remember. Today I'm filming a haul because like who doesn't love a haul and boy have I got a big haul coming your way. When I say big I mean like five big parcels full. It's kind of really bad but like what can you do about it? So all the items in my haul are from ASOS or H&M or there's one tracksuit from Boohoo and I think I think that's everywhere. So I'm going to start with the accessories. If you're not really interested in accessories, then you can kind of like skip a couple of minutes, but I don't know why you do that because I picked up some really cool accessories. Okay, so first up we have these earrings. Um, I just thought these were really cool. I thought you can't really go wrong with a pair of gold hoops, so I'll put them on in a minute. I put the earrings in and when I tell you, I literally had to re-pierce my seconds to get them in. It hurt so much, but these are, oh, look how red that is. Ow! They're actually, like, these ones are actually really heavy. They're actually, like, quite solid material, I'd say. They're both from ASOS, and um, none of them are, like, actually real gold, obviously. Actually, I think this one... But next up, we have this super cute hairband clip thing. And I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than what it is, but I think that's really cute. Please just focus on me. Um, thank you. And then next we have these rings. I didn't actually realise, but I've already ordered these rings and I don't know how I made the same mistake twice, but these are both ASOS design. I think they were literally like £3 each or something. So the last two, I have this necklace. It's got like a really cute pendant lock thing at the bottom and it's just kind of like nice. This was ASOS design again. Okay. And actual lastly, we have this, which I really, really, really like. This is from um, H&M. This was eight nine. No, this was five ninety nine, which I thought was quite a bargain. I'd really love one of these in real gold, but obviously they're super expensive and I'm just not wanting to pay that. Um, but yeah, I'll try them on now. Okay, so my camera's decided to join us and also ignore that weird wire in the background, but it's literally like my fairy lights. They look really cool when they're on. Are you in again? Sometimes I just can't talk. Okay, so it's actually 5 p.m. and I noticed it was the morning, but it's definitely not at all. And it's starting to get dark outside, so I'm gonna film the haul tomorrow, which is really annoying because I spent all day getting ready to film it today. I don't actually know if this is a thing. Like, I don't know if you can just start filming one day, then carry on that. Well, I mean, you can because you do like weekly vlogs. I don't really know. My mind's just kind of not taking me there today, but I'm gonna film the haul tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, it's the next day, and I'm. Oh. Hello. The sun's shining today and it's putting me in a really good mood. I don't know about you guys, but sunshine is just like Sarah, 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 what was that thing called? Serotonin? I don't know if that's right, but actually, is the sun just serotonin? Is that like a fact? I don't actually know, but the sunshine obviously gives you a bit of a day and makes you happy. We're just going to leave it at that because if not, I'm just going to say something really dumb. Anyway, so today I am filming a haul. I needed some more loungewear and also in March for Mind Charity, I'm running 27 miles over 27 days, which is a bit of a joke because I don't run. So I needed some gym wear for that. I thought I'd get some nice bits as well just to like, you know when you get dressed and you just feel better about life. Without further ado, let's get to it. These necklaces I showed you earlier these what they look like on i think they look really nice this ring fits me the other one doesn't i've got my earrings in out as well but these ones are like literally so heavy my ears are like just red from wearing them I mean, you're gonna have to excuse the state of my hair i did try and straighten it but my straightness just wouldn't turn on weird um but i guess it's kind of like a sign that i shouldn't be straightening my hair because obviously it's kind of like falling apart so i'm just gonna go ahead tie this boy up so um, I'm not actually going to talk about sizing in my video because I understand that it can be a trigger for some people um, But I'm just going to say whether it's true to size or not. So yeah, I'm sorry about this, but also I'm not because I don't want to be triggering anyone. I'm gonna put the price of items on the side because I can't actually remember the price of any of them and I will link everything that I've brought in the description. We're gonna start with ASOS, but 
this is from H&M. So these leggings are black ribbed leggings. I just thought they'd be really good to run in. They're high waisted, they come just above my belly button. I would say they're really good for sizing. Um, I just got my normal size and at first they're a bit tight to put on, but now like they obviously fit tree and they don't fall down at all. I really apologize because I just talk and then I look at the camera and I'm like, you can't actually see my face. Okay, so next up is this top. This is just from the ASOS Design Men's section. I got a bigger size because I like it to be baggy. Um, it doesn't actually come like this. It comes like down there. I just tucked it underneath my bra because, um, well, I just did. And then this zippy uppy thing is actually like probably one of my favorite from this haul it's just so soft it's not actually like really thick material which is quite surprising because i thought it would be sorry sometimes i just talk so much and i just get really out of breath um anyway yes but i got um a bigger size because i wanted it to be baggy but i would say it comes quite oversized anyway so like if you just wanted a little bit of oversized get your size but then if you wanted it like super oversized i'd go up has a massive hood i feel like um What's his name? How can I forget his name? Justin Bieber. Baby, 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 oh! <sighs> Done that thing again where like, I've talked too much. You know like in, I don't know what year it is, maybe like the 60s or the 70s, when their literal dance was like this. That's so cute. Why don't we dance like that anymore? Like can you imagine if you're just in the nightclub and you're just like. Okay, next up we have this orangey sweater vest neck thing. My skin actually looks a really weird colour. So I think this would look a lot better with a tan, obviously. I've actually only tanned once in my life. And now I just feel the need to tan all the time. But I just actually don't because I just can't be bothered. But anyway, um, the top underneath it needs to be like a crew neck. Because this v-neck just isn't really working out. I think this is really cool. Maybe I'll just tuck it in. I am a tucker. I do like to tuck all my stuff in. And I don't even care if it doesn't look better tucked in than it does out. I am going to tuck it in because i just prefer it tucked in it's actually really big i sized up in this and there was no need for it at all i actually do like the baggy look but yeah i do actually really rate this top i feel like i've really done something there but then also like i do need a tan with it on and then if i have a tan is it just going to be like orange on top of orange who knows next up are these jeans but okay don't laugh but i'm actually having to hold them up because they are so long and like when i say they're so long like they are so long They're just like baggy. <laughs> okay, so next up we have these leggings. Um, these are just for my run that I'll be doing from Monday, which fun fact, I literally have done no training for my run at all. So I'm literally just gonna be throwing myself in the deep end running a mile a day. And I know a mile a day might not seem a lot, but for someone who just doesn't run, it's gonna be really interesting to see how well I cope with it. But obviously I'm not gonna be coping with it at all. And you probably won't hear from me from the whole of March because I'll literally just be sleeping all the time. And the best part about them, like this is super exciting, like technology has evolved. Back here, there's a pocket for your phone, how amazing. I would say this is quite an evolved trouser, but these are hands down the best gym leggings I've ever owned. Like they feel thin, but when they're on, they feel thick. Do you know what I mean? And they're so supportive, like they literally just like, Oh, and they're so comfy, they're so soft. I just really, actually, really rate these. Like, I look... <laughs> if I was going to recommend anything from this vlog so far, it would be these leggings. But then also I'd rate the zip-up grey jumper, because that was really cool. And also the orange vest, because I really did like that as well. And on the side somewhere... Oh, and here it has a little Nike tick. Just so you know they're Nike, because obviously... <laughs> Okay, and then we have this jumper. I thought this jumper would go really nicely with those blue jeans that I was just wearing, but obviously those blue jeans were like kind of stressing me out. Like they were just so long and so baggy, so I just took them off. I do think this is a really nice color. Um, I got my normal size. Actually, no, that's a lie. I went a size up and it's quite baggy. But I do think it's actually a really nice colour. It looks a bit white in this lighting, but it's actually like a really nice creamy colour. Which kind of makes me feel like, I don't know about you guys, but when you have something cream, don't you feel like it's more delicate than white? I don't know why I think that, but when I'm wearing something cream, I'm like, oh shit, like, gotta be careful. But when I'm wearing something white, I'm like, just white. Maybe it's because, like, cream's more of, like, a rich colour. Like, I don't really wear cream that much. Like, when I do, I'm like, wow, special occasion. I don't really know if that logic makes sense, but that's kind of how I think about it. And next up, we have another basic sweater.
this one is an asos design but it's like i don't think the camera's yeah you can see that it's like that material that's just not like it when i wear a sweater or a hoodie i just want it to be like soft i don't even want it to be thick because when it's like this material i just feel like it's cold when i'm not actually cold but it's just this material which is psychological i don't really know i just thought this would be nice just to wear and obviously with my gold jewelry i am rocking it if i do say so myself okay so uh <coughs> definitely not Next up is this tracksuit from Boohoo. Let me just sort out this. What do they call hair that's not like hair? When you call it like, is it a gar? No, it's not garment. Barnet. Is it a barnet when you say like, let me, let me sort out this barnet. Where's that saying from and is it that? I don't really know, actually. Okay, this isn't really any better, but we move. I actually love the colour. It's kind of like a wash brown colour. I did get my normal size, but the trousers are, like, really big. Wait one. Star jump! I don't know why I did that. Super baggy. Oh, and they have pockets. Amazing. Um, I think it's a good size of oversizedness. And when I put this hoodie on, let me just tell you something. The inside... Oh yeah, you guys can see that. That is soft material and that is what, what I love in a hoodie. If it's not soft material, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of it. My hair. Last up from ASOS are these jeans. They're just your Bob standard jeans. These are the ones which make your bum look good, but I'm not going to show you because... It's kind of embarrassing that even these can't do anything for my bum right now. They're really nice. Definitely, definitely go for your normal size in these jeans. They fit a treat. And these are actually ASOS design jeans. So I'm not sure how they got these on so right, but the blue ones so wrong. Now we move on to H&M. I got this jumper. I don't really rate the colour on the colour of my skin right now. But if I had a tan, it would look a lot better. And the jumper is actually really cute. It's just cropped. And I thought it would be a nice for transitioning into from winter into spring. This is like massively long, so like, if I'm super cold. Also, can we just talk about how handy masks are in the winter? Like, that was actually keeping me really warm. Anyway, I'm going to put something else on because I literally can't stand this colour. Okay, so next up we have a, another cardigan. I actually, like, am in love with this cardigan. Again, I'm just not sure about the colour of the cardigan with my skin tone. Hang on, wait. If I take my hair down, then it kind of doesn't make me look, like, as washed out. Wow, that girl needs a brush. Do you see what I mean? See, now the colour doesn't look that bad, if I do say so myself. If you guys are still thinking it looks really bad, please don't tell me because it will really upset me. I went a size up because I wanted it to be oversized. Truth be told, I wish I went two sizes up because I like a really oversized cardigan. Cardigans are kind of like my newfound love. This is the softest cardigan I've ever owned in my life as well. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with this top underneath. I mean, you could kind of wear it like with nothing underneath and then like just kind of have this undone. That would be really nice with the jewellery. Or you could... I can't actually undo this. I actually can't be bothered to undo that last one, but this is what it would kind of look like undone. I kind of prefer it done up, I think. It's kind of like a little bit of a granddad cardigan, but it's not that long. And yeah, I really like this. Okay, so this is last up on the haul. It's not really a high neck, but it's not really a low neck. I don't really know what the word is, but it's really long actually, which I don't really rate because I like to tuck my stuff in. This is it tucked in. I think this is really nice. I'm not sure about the white t-shirt underneath, but I don't know what else I'd wear underneath. Maybe nothing. That would look quite nice, I think. I think I'd wear nothing underneath this. But I just... H&M really did something here because it actually looks really nice. And at first I was like, hmm, a bit questionable. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. But this is probably what I'll wear like when lockdown's lifted. Like I said, with some gold jewellery. Like, imagine this... Okay, wait. Let me set the scene for you guys. Okay, so we're at a rest. Wait, don't look, don't look. Okay, so we're at a restaurant and you're going to see your friends for like the first time in however many months. Obviously, imagine I'm not as pale as I am, but you'd like open the door. This is what you'd want to be wearing. This is like, I don't know if it's just me. Does it actually look really bad? Oh, okay. Sorry. That is a muscle, is it not? That one's lagging a bit. You need to catch it up. But yeah, the next time I go out and I go for a meal with my friends, this is what I want to be wearing. I'm not actually that pale. Like, I know that kind of makes me look like I'm really pale, but I'm not actually that pale. Like, I am quite pale, and, like, this lighting isn't really doing anything for me, but my arm just then looks, like, white, where, in reality, 
I mean it is white but that is a wrap for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it um I probably will be doing another haul soon because I am actually addicted to online shopping but who can blame we're in lockdown and if you just don't feel good then online shopping is just a bit of therapy and you should just do it please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon